Hi, welcome to JRS Innovation for the Heavy Vehicle Inspection and Maintenance Cloud Platform. In this training video, we will walk through the steps how to create a maintenance work order and how the other people and the team members can interact with the work order uh, while continuing the work order or changing various status and tracking the information. So what you see on the screen uh, is the heavy vehicle inspection portal. Uh, if you already have an account, you can go to the portal on top right. If not, you can create a free account. Uh, it's free for a month. You would need to put your uh, base details. It's a secured credit payment system. Or you could access on Android app or iPhone or iPod app. So I will take you to the portal. Now this is the portal home screen. For the work order section, this is the third tab on top. I'll go ahead and click on that. This is the screen where back office person can access this screen using any standard browser, for example, Google Chrome or Microsoft Internet Explorer or Apple Safari. So any modern browser, you do not need any other software or plugin to access the software. You would just put the detailing HTTPS heavyvehicleinspection.com slash portal slash portal.html. <coughs> what you see on the screen, the left side has the vehicle detailing or all of your equipment, so it's select vehicle. And the right side panel has all the detailing on your existing work orders. Now, to create a new work order, there are two choices you have. One, you can simply start on this screen and click on this green button, create work order. That means you would put all the information beforehand and you would create a brand new work order. But there is a more advanced and a smarter way to create the work order that we recommend unless you're doing a break fixed work order where you do not have any inspection document. So I'll show you the first way of doing it, or which is much simpler to create a maintenance work order. And then we'll come back and hit on this traditional order. Or let's see, if I click on the create work order, this is the information, the top header, where you could define the work order number, which already is there, it's an incremental number. If you have a relevant inspection document, you could mention that. On the vehicle number, you would have your list of equipment, you can select the vehicle detail, and then the status of the work order. So it has two components. One, what kind of priority does this work order maintain? Is it a normal, low, medium, high? You could define that. And then as you would start, typically it would be an initiated state, but you could very well maintain based on how the actual physical activity is going on related to this work order. Now at the bottom three areas, you have the consumed part list. That means the items on the parts inventory. It would access the inventory items and you could consume them as part of this work order. <coughs> so that includes the consumed part. The central area is to define or repair item. Or you could include uh, what items are being part of this repair. For example, oil change. and then could put additional notes. For example, how much quantity need to be part of this change. So 
So such information can easily be added uh, for a repair item. And then you would include if there is any replacement items. Uh, for example, let's say you are in the replacement of battery. And while you do that, you would always have option for each and every work order item. Those can be tracked individually. For example, if the battery is already completed, but the work is still going on on the repair item, uh, they could maintain two different status and then save the work order. You can see this is a quick fix work order. And then we'll click on the generate work order. If we have the money part, we're going to go ahead and input the labor cost. And then the work order created successfully. I'll go ahead, click in based on the sorting. And as you would see, this record appear on the top where we would, if we click on that, it will bring that information back. So at the step one, we created a maintenance work order. Now while the technician or the maintenance people are conducting the actual maintenance, based on the phases, they can always come back and change the status, add the nodes, or you know any of those three sections. Let's say they consumed a new part, they would come back and add that. Just update the work order. If I want to go back and I want to change the status of this item, that this is on hold for the moment, uh, I would go ahead and update the information. So it, it's a fairly simple and quick process uh, to create a maintenance work order and then check it. Now we're going to drive back to the mobile app users. You know, the people who are in the remote uh, who are not in front of laptop and desktop, uh, but we would like to ensure that the real-time information is being shared with them. And that's the beauty of the product, that it's a secure Microsoft Cloud platform where all the information, the data collection is being done over the cloud and all mobile apps, the Android, iPhone, the portals, the browsers, all is integrated in real time. So now what you see is an Android smartphone and the heavy vehicle inspection app is there. Uh, if you don't know how to get to this app, you, you can click on the heavyvehicleinspection.com and click on the Google Play icon. Uh, it will take you to the Play Store. Or you can simply go ahead and click Heavy Vehicle Inspection on the Google Play. You could download the app. For the iPhone users, again, you would do the same and will be able to find the app. So considering you have the app, oh, this is the Android app where you would see the content. Now on the top four icons, there is one icon for the work order. So I'll go ahead and go check inside the work orders. Now from here, I will filter it based on the creation date. And this will bring us to the, the section where you know one can create a maintenance work order. So what earlier we looked was the using the back office where you have your laptop or desktop to create a maintenance work order. Now this is the mobile interface where a person can have a tablet, an iPad, or a smartphone, and they would have all those opportunities to create a new maintenance work order or play with an existing order, change the status, put more information. So I would go ahead and click on the bottom right. We have this plus icon. Now that will open up a new screen to 
create a work order and I will select the vehicle from the plus icon so I can select any machinery from this uh, I'm going to use this loader caterpillar and then we can put the notes related to the work order and those core three areas as we discussed earlier the same way you would have consumed part list click on the plus take the item include the quantity and hit done it included uh, the parts that you've been consuming as part of the work order on the repair item or we could define the item or let's say you would do a dent cleaning and you would say that okay this work is already in the progress so you would mark the status as in progress and afterwards uh, if you have any item to replacement you would put that or you simply press create work order so what we did right now is we created a new work order and that information is right away available here. Now I can go back, uh, tap on the work order, hit the update button, and always change the status of these content. Uh, I want to re remove a consumed part or add few more items. I want to change the status of this dent. Now it is complete. I'll go ahead and mark the completion. And if there are notes related to that, would we'll do that and then update that. So that uh, process makes it uh, real simple in terms of working with the work order process. Now, this was one way of creating a maintenance work order. Now we will go back and see that there is other alternate which is much simpler to create a similar maintenance work order. So I would be going on the dashboard and then in the inspection part. So if there is an inspection document related to the work order, then one could find, click on any of these records. What you see here, the information that we manually input, you know, like selecting the vehicle number, selecting uh, the status, selecting all the good stuff that needed for the work order, uh, as this document already has that. It has what repair need to be done, what items need to be replaced, and the priority. So when we're going to create a work order, uh, this will take this information and move it over to a work order. Now, if I click on create work order, as you would see, it already took all the detailing. You know, it set the work order. It took detail of the repair and replace items. And there I could, you know, go ahead and include some parts. So basically it's, it's a fairly simple process. I would say it's in one click. Uh, I could go ahead and generate a work order. Now we look on that, uh, this is a new work order. Okay, so we need to go in the work order section as we created the work order. And I'll go ahead and sort it based on the date. So we got this another item here that we just created. At this point onwards, you would track it just like any regular work order where you would change or the status of barrier work order items or complete the whole work order. So that's, I believe, uh, overall how you would conduct a maintenance work order in the heavy vehicle inspection platform. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.